Howdy folks, this is Tim with Digital Survival. Welcome back to Survival Fountain of Youth. Blind playthrough. It is at the end of the day. I have a lot of time before nightfall. I'm gonna check my rain catcher really quick. Completely empty. That's fine. Let's go check. Well, seems like a long way. I'm gonna go just jog down and check my uh, date palm juice extractor. Not even sure if that's what it's called. Hey, turtle. All right, hasn't gotten any juice yet. Oh, we're out here. I saw some food. Uh-oh, I only had one sphere. Well, this will be fun. I don't see my spear. You obviously feel threatened, which is appropriate. Well, I feel like a bit of an idiot right now. Come on, spear, where did you go? Well, going with a big never mind. Oh, here it is. How did you go from me? I love the knockback on this thing. I'm going to get myself killed here. I'm an idiot? I admit. I broke the spear on the last hit. That's fantastic. All right, we're going to check this one more time. Now, I don't know if you can see my health, but I can't. One, I have. <laughs> I have one health. We're going to take this massive stone home with us because why not? Not the most auspicious start to my playthrough today. All right, we're back in our nice, safe little cave. Uh, you know what I just realized? If I injure myself doing something, I could kill myself. That would be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Is tree bark a fire starter? I don't even know. Let's eat that. Doesn't look like we have any specific water sources right now, so we're gonna leave off for a minute. Tree bark does work as a fire starter. Let's do a little of that. Level one medicine. I don't even remember that being a skill. Let's use that. Slowly adding to my health. I think I'm going to wait till it's done just in case it's not cumulative. I may test that at another time when I'm not almost dead. And then we do have a large stone in our inventory. So let's take a look at massive stone. What are my blueprints for this? I'm going to turn it into regular stone, a stone axe blade, a primitive trap. Or a stone saw or a stone hammer. I want to change it to a stone saw. I need a workbench to do that. Primitive trap, just some sticks. Stone axe blade. I need a massive stone and a regular stone. And to change it into regular stone, I just need 57 minutes to break it down. Stone hammer. I need the large stick and the massive stone. We're going to put this away. 
Oh, I've got two massive stones. We will cook this guy right now. Put out the fire. And go to bed. And this isn't going to help our health at all. Because I don't have enough water in me. It's going to help my energy quite a bit though. Let's do that. Early morning. Use the bandage. Let's eat the food. And let's go find something to drink. We need some spears. Do I have any long sticks left? What does it take to repair one of these? So one of the big things I want to do today is I want to... 11 health. Uh, I want to increase my mapping. Okay, selected. I can't equip it. And apparently I can't repair it. Now this I can repair. I need one stone to do. Do I have any stone in here? I can break one of those down, but I don't want to yet. I think I may just go out and find some stone. Now if I can't repair these, I don't know what they're good for. I to wonder if they are something that you can burn in the fire, maybe. Is that a scorpion? Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, so I have to go find replacement weapons. I've got to go find some long branches. You know what? Let's, let's map right here. Mapping range 20. That's terrible. Okay, we're not going to map right here. We're going to go find the first opportunity to get up into the mountains, and we're going to go up and map up there. All this detrius that I could break down if I wanted to. It just seems like a lot of work. Let's check the date palm. See if we got any juice overnight. Oh, we do have juice. And we can drink it, but we can't drink it. Probably because we have nothing to put it in. And juice is giving us one food and seven water, which is great. Definitely worth stopping there. That. Here's one of the things. I need a cutting tool to get this out. A stone cutter. I mean, a stone cutter just made with one stone. So you just need a single stone. You just need to take half an hour, and you've got a stone cutter. So I think next time I see some stone, I will do that. And then I'll have access to a number of coconuts that have just been hanging up there waiting for me this whole time. Always a little nervous going into a new space. Oh, great, that's a mapping tree. So that's worth stuff. Oh, jeez, you gotta be kidding. I can afford that. I wonder if I was, like, really looking if I would see them before they got me. You know, if I looked at the ground and... Oh, hyper nervous now. Got nine health. Worried about falling and injuring myself. There's no mantle in this game. No climbing up. Worried about these narrow things having something that's going to bite me. And it's just not cool, guys. You don't want to get too close to the nest. I see shiny thing. You know, and as much as I love shiny things, I'm just really nervous right now about it. Oh no. I heard a snake there. Oh jeez, what now? Alright, let's just... we're getting it all. That's not how that works. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I hate the fact that I can't do anything about that. I had to get that so I could climb the tree. Now I can't see the tree anymore.
Where's the cartographer tree? What is that tree? I'm guarded by a rat. Oh, nuts. More rats? Short sticks. I don't need short sticks. I need a long stick, guys. Is that my original cartographer tree over there? Is this a mine? Oh, um, um, okay, I don't know what to do here. If I harvest all of these, does that open something up? It looks like it should. Oh, golly, I, I really want to know. I really want to know. No suitable tool. I need a pickaxe. Like that, a kick in the pants. I think this is my original cartographer tree here. So I don't need to go to that. I need to find another one. Really would be good to find some long sticks and make a couple spears so I'm not completely defenseless. These are going to all be short stick trees. My map show any long sticks nearby? Here. Don't want to go all the way over there. I'm really thinking I'm going to end up unconscious and back in my cave. Hogany. Jeez, uh, I don't like that sound. A little concerned about the... Piggy sound, too. Alright, what if I try map mapping from here? Range 131. You know what? We're gonna give it a try. Got big branches. I got liana. Eucalyptus. Cattail breadfruit. That's something I wanted to get while I was out here. A special object. I can't zoom in any closer to make those resolve better. Interesting item, special object. A boar. Boars are typically really dangerous. Alright, so I'm going to go get the breadfruit. I thought there was a tree. I'm going to head back that way. Make sure I turn the right way. Yep, we're going to go straight that direction. And hopefully not offend anything on the way over. Doesn't this have mushroom tin? Oh, golly. Or Liana. Wow, uh, I feel like super nervous right now. You yeah, know, close am I to breadfruit? I totally missed it. What is that? Just scrap. Oh, golly. That, that's a snake right there. I see a snake. I was able to spot that one. A curry palm rather than a Chinese palm. Not sure what the substantial difference is there. Elephant ear. Oh, well, let's get all that. Just wild leaf. We gotta get to the breadfruit. Oh no! Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, and... Is this just the closest bed? I think this might be the closest bed rather than the last bed I slept in. Alright, well let's go get some long sticks. That boar did 31 damage. That is not somebody I want to play with. Short eared dogs, sure. Scorpions if I have to, but whatever that thing was. Chickens are fine, crabs are fine. But not a boar. Well, let's get one of these. Get three. 
And let's turn one of those into a weapon. Or not a weapon exactly. A stone cutter. Now this will be interesting. Stone arrows. I need feathers for that. And I know where to get feathers. I'm, I think I need to make some ranged weaponry. I need a builder toolkit and one stone. Improved builder toolkit and a builder toolkit and one stone. Your toolkit was in this. Foundation pierce versus foundation. Not sure what the difference is on those. Not worried about it yet. Stomp. Resources are being restored. Um, nuts. Oh, good. No suitable... I need an axe. I'm gonna make an axe. What do I need? I need a short stick. Can I get a short stick without an axe? <laughs> that took an hour. Okay. Now I have it, so I should be able to go back and get the long sticks and make the spears. Sun's already getting low. Now that I have the long sticks. Stone spear takes a workbench to make. This does not, so we're gonna get two of these. And now it's almost dark. Now, here's a thing we get to try. One of the things I learned since the last time is that when you die, your backpack is supposed to appear like this star right here. It's right here in this spot. Alright, so if you have mapped it, you will be able to see your backpack on the map. If you have not mapped the area, the star will not appear. Oh, are you serious with me there? We need this in a weapon spot. Oh, that's interesting. I can only do two weapons right now? With no explanation as to why. Alright. Bag and breadfruit are near the same spot. Really? You're still with me? percent chance of injury doing this can't eat the meat just harvest the tail all right i am really close to a breadfruit tree here this is breadfruit what just how much did i get i got four now this is something we can combine with eggs make baked cakes and now i want to find a nest what do nests look like on the map that there one in this zone that i can see i don't see one that's a breadfruit tree is there just one here i hear you it may just be the one. Here's my bag. What is my status effect here? Poisoned level two. All right, need to head back to the grotto. Where I do have the things I need to take care of poison. Oh, it's a shiny. It's right here. It's so shiny. And from the day the Palace of Trials was built, the old, the Golden Age began. It was the era of wise chieftains, brave sailors, ingenious healers, and skillful craftsmen. The best of them presented their deeds for the judgment of the Council of Four Tribes, and the Great Four were at the head of that council. The council chose the best of the best and called them the honored ones. 
The honored ones then sailed the stormbreakers through the fog of the belts to pass through the palace of trials on Bimini. The worthy who passed all trials were named the highest ones. They drank the waters of fountain to prolong their years and took the water with them in special vessels to give to whomever they chose. Those who were granted such a gift were called the gifted ones. The faces of all the highest ones were carved in stone, and the golden age lasted for many centuries. Okay, that's number 15. It was This is the gifted ones where uh, they killed them all. All the gifted ones, paralyzed and thrown to their death. Neat. All right, so, did that. That gave me, that gave me a survival point. I'm really, really tempted. No. Reduces chance of getting indigestion from bad food. That's not really what I'm worried about right now, guys. I really need to get back to the coast. Chance of injury, 21%. Uh, chance of injury doesn't change with what I'm harvesting. Well, I got some coconuts. I know how to make bandages. I know how to make poison cures. That was a turtle. I'm encumbered. This is going really well. Alright, we're back. And we are getting the things we need to cure poison. It's two of those. And a, to do a steamed bandage. There's a couple of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even care. Great. We will do two of these. One of those to start. Continue. Man, you guys are really just not kind. I know I've got several foods in here, so we're eating it. Starvation disappeared. Now. Let's take care of some maladies here. Use that one. Use it two. Use that three. And while we're in here, let's... So I can make dried snake tails out of my snake tails, but what does a dried snake tail do? I don't know. I need to, before I do that, I need to interact with the chicken. Drop it on the ground to carve it up and gather valuable resources. Alright, so it's on the ground now. We're going to interact with it. We're going to select all. And we're going to harvest with a 1% chance of injury, probably because I've got a lit fire right there. What is it good for now? Now that it's lying on the ground dead. We're going to have to see if that'll just stay there. That could be an interesting form of decoration at some point. Alright, now we have an interesting option because we have one egg as well as one breadfruit. So this is what you use single eggs for. Because you can't fry them by themselves. But you can cook them into bread cakes. And while we're at it, let's roast some meat. I'm making myself hungry. So that gives me 22 food and two water, which we can manage. That's fantastic. And then the cakes will actually give us regeneration, a little bit of health there. Plus five over 32 minutes. 
and 22 more food. That puts us in a really good state. We're going to do that. We're super well fed. We got all sorts of green icons in the top. I'm going to turn this off. And go to bed. Is it morning right now? Oh, man. I want the health. That just that puts me up to full health right there. Just not full energy. Well, I don't want to sleep the whole day away, so we're gonna take a quick nap, two hour nap, and get back out there. Get rid of all the extra things. You know what? I'm keeping the long stick. And we're gonna keep four of the liana. And head back out. Wow, what a life. Still no water in that. Now we want to get to a higher spot and do some more mapping. I also got some special objects up here that I'm really curious about. And maybe that's, you know, the temptation when you do your map. You start seeing things that you want to go get. Yeah, I'm just going to say it, I can't believe we're already over time on this one. This one might end up being too long. This is Tim with Digital Survival. Thanks for joining me today for Survival Fountain of Youth. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know that I did. Uh, but we're still alive after being killed by a boar. So two deaths now. And we're back on track. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and or share. It helps me keep doing this thing that I love. Thanks, and see you soon.